PanicAttackRecovery.com. Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, anxiety, stress, and ADHD. We also invite and welcome anyone interested in taking care of their mental health to experience our content. In this video, we want to present some recent news and information about discoveries and findings that can help with anxiety, ADHD, and even mental health in general. A recent review, Pressman et al. 2019, examined the mechanisms linking health and happiness and how researchers go about studying their mutual influence. Researchers found that a steady and varied diet of positive emotional experiences can be a key contributor to a healthy life. An article published in the September 2019 issue of North and South also looked at research into stress. Here are some of the reported findings. The severity of daily stress is correlated to the intensity of engagement on Facebook and the tendency to develop a pathological addiction to the social media site. Say researchers at the Mental Health Research and Treatment Center at Ruhr University Bochum in Germany. The effect was reduced in people who were receiving offline support. Taking at least 20 minutes a day to stroll or sit in a place that makes you feel in contact with nature will significantly lower your stress hormone levels, say the authors of a study at the University of Michigan. They said that the nature pill should be taken in daylight with no aerobic exercise, social media, internet, phone calls, conversations, or reading. In other news, a recently published research in the Journal of Behavior Therapy and Mental Health demonstrates the power of guided relaxation with Himalayan singing bowls on human physiology parameters including stress level measured by the heart signals. This research on singing bowls demonstrated that a short 20 minute long singing bowls session can be leveraged as a tool for inducing good quality relaxation response to facilitate healing and energy recovery and achieve significant health benefits. It was suggested that some areas where these findings can be applied include a use of such practice for a few days to help with insomnia, b for a quick relaxation for busy people during their day, c recovery from fatigue or sports person, and d for healthcare, for example, pre-surgery relaxation or during chemotherapy. For a simple relaxing strategy, check out our video on the relaxation response. Another study published in the Journal of Physiology looked at anxiety and depressive like behavior, stress responsiveness, cognition and sociability, as well as how easily material passes through the gut. The researchers explained that stress can cause major changes in the gut and also in our brain which in turn affects our behavior. Foods rich in fiber were found to reduce the adverse effects of stress in mice. The findings suggested that a gut bacteria produce short-chain fatty acids, SCFAs, which are the main source of nutrition for cells in this region of the body, and high levels of fibers stimulate the production of these SCFAs. The researchers have advised adding high fiber food in the diet for treating stress-related disorders. Additionally, we have completed a video about the gut and brain connection, which you can obtain from our channel. We hope that you've enjoyed this video. There are many tips we'd love to share in our free newsletter, which provides an overall approach to anxiety, stress, panic attack, ADHD, and please visit our website and subscribe to our free newsletter. Take care. PanicAttackRecovery.com